now, Glenn, there's an extra special item of business on hand. Seaman First Class J. Donald Phillips thought the Killers was a wonderful motion picture, and he wants to know if Command Performance can present us its own special version. Oh, I think that can be arranged. George? Okay, Glenn. Command Performance presents The Killers. <laughs> Twilight in a small town as two furtive figures stealthily approach the diner by the side of the road. They are hired killers, and their mission is death. You all set, knucklehead? <laughs> yeah, Blinky. Don't call me. Sir. Uh, this town is kind of deserted. You think we're in the right place? I don't know. What does the sign say? What sign? <laughs> Never mind. Let's get inside and rub this guy out. Okay, but I'm getting sick of this job all the time, killing people. We never get to do anything exciting. <laughs> no, you're right, Knucklehead. Yeah. All we do is shoot people. Shoot, shoot. I'd like to take a day off sometime, ask some people in for dinner, and then poison the food. <laughs> Knucklehead. Yeah? You run into the diner and see if there's anybody there or any bulls in there. Okay, I'll be right back. Well, what did you see? Sure, oh, wait a minute. Are we alone? Sure, we're alone. Who's that standing next to you? That's you. <laughs> Can I be trusted? Never mind, never mind. Now, what's the dope outside of you, I mean? Well, uh, I walked across the street. Yeah? I stuck my head against the glass. Yeah, yeah? I look around. Look, at... follow the example of your head and come to the point. <laughs> what did you see? Well, I see this funny-looking guy with his hat pulled down and his coat pulled up and a gun in his hand. Gee, what an ugly-looking tramp. That was your own reflection, you schmo. <laughs> Get one away! Yeah. Now we're going to pull this job off right now. we got to bump off the Swede. And when we do it... I don't want you to show any signs of cowardice. Flanky! I don't know the meaning of the word cowardice. You're that fearless, huh? No, I just don't know the meaning of the word cowardice. <laughs> well, let's go in. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's the matter? Knucklehead, look at you. You're a mess. I'm ashamed to be seen killing anybody with you. What's wrong? Well, look at you. There's ketchup on your ties. That ain't ketchup. Oh, look at your clothes. They're so baggy. What are you talking about? That's a new suit. It comes with two pair of pants. You got to wear them both at the same time? <laughs> a killer. Ah, well, let's get into this diner and wait for the sleeve. Okay. We can eat while we're waiting. Yeah, I just can't kill anybody on an empty stomach. <laughs> oh, Okay, knucklehead. Let's get some music. Put a slug in a jukebox. Okay. <laughs> Chloe by Spike Jones. Hello. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, you behind the counter. Smart boy. Yes? Stand at attention when you speak to me. Yes, sir. Shall I salute? Shut up. Uh, <laughs> now look, smart boy. You want something to eat. What's this on a menu? Here, I'll write that off for you. Uh, just a minute, smart boy. How about jumping in? Something delicious, like a dish of chow. Well, how about a businessman's lunch? No, I ain't a businessman. <laughs> Try it, knucklehead. Okay. How are you? Smart boy. Does the Swede come in here for supper? Well, he usually does, but he won't be in tonight. Yeah? How do you know? Well, I saw the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't understand it. You look like nice boys. Now, why do you have to go around killing people? Well, it's a living... <laughs> and you? It's, oh, yeah, I... Yeah. Hey, you, you look like a college man. Did you go to college? College? Is that before or after high school? <laughs> oh, after? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I went to Harvard. Oh, to Harvard. Well, what did you study? Nothing. They studied me. <laughs> oh, quiet. Now, look, knucklehead. The Swede will be here any minute. You, you stand by the door, and when you see him... You plug him. Okay, Blinky. My slingshot's ready. Slingshot? You're not going to use a slingshot. Why not? It's got a silencer on it. Who? Wait a minute. What was that? Smart boy. Who's that back in the kitchen? 
Nobody? Smart boy. I said who's in the kitchen. Nobody. Somebody's got a bad case of lower plate wobble. <laughs> All right, now. Whoever's in the kitchen, come out with your hands up. Well, here I am with my hands up. Now what? Just stand there. I'll think of something. <laughs> wow. And I thought those dishes on the counter were stuck. Why, killer. <laughs> Let me look at you, girl. Why, you're lovely. Can you use this pawn? <laughs> Honey, you want to know something? Yeah. You appeal to me. Let me run my fingers through your hair. No, honey, let me run through your hair. No, that would be too hard on my chest. <laughs> yeah. I wish I had more time, baby, but we got certain business on hand. Well, then you better get back into the kitchen. Well, okay, sweet. Hey, ah, cute kid, huh? Funny thing, I thought she called you sweet. Me? The Swede? They jumped in Yemeni. Are you kidding? <laughs> knucklehead, we found him. Let me out. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. Down, Knucklehead, down. <laughs> I'll tell you what you do, Knucklehead. Sure. You count ten, and then let him have it. Okay. One, two, three, four, six, eight. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What happened to five? I'm coming to it. <laughs> Never mind. Take this, sweet. Ooh, you got me. And this. Ooh, you got me. And one more. Ha ha, you missed me. <laughs> uh oh, that did it. Well, knucklehead, another day, another dollar. Uh, Come here, and I'll carve another niche in your head. <laughs> you guys think you're pretty smart, hmm? You finally tracked me down and shot me in the diner. But there's one more thing you can count on. You get your dessert. Oh, Marilyn. Two rice puddings coming up. Oh, my God. Larry Stevens, Phil Silvers, Charlie Cantor, the lovable Clifton Finnegan, and George Dvorak, and Mrs. Glenn Ford. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Blanky. I'll give you such a hit in the head. was arranged with the aid of the Hollywood Coordinating Committee. This is the United States Armed Forces Radio Service. Uh, the voice of information and... Uh, uh, education. Yeah, education. <laughs>